Hello all and welcome to my channel InfoSec Geeks. This is Asad Amar and today I'm going to show you a video on how to use Shudan. This is actually the part one of this video. I'll create more videos on Shudan in coming time. So let's talk about Shudan. So what is Shudan? Basically it's a search engine that lets the user find specific type of computers webcams, routers, servers, etc. connected to the internet using a variety of filters. Some have also described it as a search engine of service banners which are metadata that the server sends back to the client. This can be information about the server software what options the service supports, a welcome message or anything else that the client can find out before interacting with the server. It was actually launched back in 2009 by a computer programmer John Matherly who in 2003 conceived the idea of searching devices linked to the internet. Let me show you. So he's the guy, the programmer and developer of this incredible search engine Shudan, right? So the name Shudan is reference to Shudan, a character from the System Shock, a video game. So here is a game. From where he took the name of the search engine, Shudan. So the meaning of Shudan was sentient hyper optimized data access network, is a fictional artificial intelligence and the main antagonist of the cyberpunk horror theme video games. Okay. Coming back to Shudan background, so this website began as Mutherly's pet project based on fact that large numbers of devices and computer systems are connected to the internet. Shudan has since been used to find systems including control systems for water plants, power grids and cyclotron. So how it works, basically Shudan crawls the internet for publicly accessible devices concentrating on SCADA that is supervisory control and data acquisition system. Shudan currently returns 10 results to users without an account and 50 to those with one or. If users want to remove the restriction, they are required to provide a reason and pay a fee. The primary users of Shudans are cybersecurity professionals, researchers, and law enforcement agencies, while cyber criminals can also use this website. Some typically have access to botnets that could accomplish the same task without detection. So let's jump to the tutorial. So the first step is to visit this website. You have to open your browser, visit this uh, website shudan.io and create a new account, right? And then you have to log in into your account. I have already created the account in Shudan, as you can see here. This is uh, the main home page of Shudan, okay? But it says the search engine for security for buildings. Shudan is the world's first search engine for internet connected devices. <clears throat> so in search bar type this filter. Basically Shudan the uh, 
search anything based on these this type of filters so what I have entered here I'm looking for web panels website or anything that is based on PHP means the running technology they are using would be PHP and I'm tar targeting the country that's Bangladesh you can also change it to IN or any country like UK Australia right Canada but now I'm focus on Bangladesh <clears throat> I'm searching Okay, so Sudan search 8493 results. Along with country, top cities Dhaka, Paltan, Kolna, Azimpur, top services HTTP, HTTPS. These are our protocols and cities and extra information should and form during banner grabbing etc. So let me open it. <coughs> As you can see here, Shadan is not only showing the IP address but relevant port numbers FTP secure shell SSH HTTP 441443 HTTPS and MySQL 3306 along with the map where this IP is located So it says under this IP that it is actually a database server. It is Dhaka Country Bangladesh Organization Bangladesh Telegraph and Telephone Board. And internet service provider is Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited BTCL Nationwide PSTN Operator and Data and Internet Service Provider. That is ASM Autonomous System number here are the vulnerabilities related to this IP what should end says that the device may not be impacted by all of these issues the vulnerabilities are implied based on software and version there are different CV as you can see here related to the different these port numbers let me try to open port number 80 the banner says the page has been moved let me try to open secure connection field okay same is true for Poco 3. I'm closing it. Going back here. <clears throat> the res result of Shudan is very precisely and very neat as you can see here. It has decently managed these details as you can see here app technologies on this IP 
we have data tables, fancy box, Firebase, Google Phone API, jQuery, Super Slider. Let me open Nginx. So here we are on the main website. Let me show you. The demo IP zero three. I've already searched and tested this IP. Let me copy the IP, copying it. And pasting it here so we have three ports open secure shell HTTPS and AT we have all the details including the version of SSH the type of key, etc. as you can see here, the complete fingerprinting, okay. And on 4.4.3 it says Apache HTTPD, the version is 2.4.6, banner says that it might be forbidden. Let me try to open. Okay, I'm going to open it. Banner says 200, it means might be okay. It says that the server behind this IP is Apache 2.4.6, OS is CentOS, and the version of PHP is 7.0.33. open it and yes we are presented with some sort of login panel I'm just guessing right I'm going to write your admin <coughs> and again admin And now I am in the back end of this panel. I actually don't know what it is, what this panel does, and what is what it is for. But I am inside this panel. As you can see here, I can click on users. Let's see here. As we can see here. We have user details. Right. And in the left panel, we can see that we have two admins accounts. and we can I guess upload any file here
Okay, so my main purpose was to show you that how easy it is to use and find any connected device, network, router or anything with this search engine. This one is truly amazing. So in the next video of this today, I'll show you some other interesting features of the sudan we can search and find other devices and try to access them so that's all for this video i hope you like this video